Hello everyone and welcome to Goodisms. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about brush pens. Brush pens are the bread and butter for modern style calligraphy. Um, in my previous video I talked about the importance of a heavy downstroke and a light upstroke and brush pens are the best and easiest way to show those heavy downstrokes. There are a few brush pens I'd like to talk about today and I'll show you the differences with them, how to write with them, and which ones are my favorite. So let's get started. The definition of a brush pen is a pen that has a brush or a brush type tip. The tips are can range from hard to soft and as you can see as I push down the tip of the pen moves. It has a brush type feel and because you're able to push down on the tip of the brush that's how you get the heavy stroke and when you let up is when you can use the tip and get a lighter stroke. And that's how you get the nice upstrokes and downstrokes. This is the Tombow. This pen actually has two sides. It has the brush pen side and it has the regular rounded tip side. So you can switch between regular style writing and then brush pen writing. I've used this Tombow pen for a very long time. Um, what I really love about it is you can switch between um, the regular pen and the heavy pen. This one gets you some really, really bold downstrokes. Um, if you wanna do really large lettering, this one is really good. These are the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens, and these are the pens I used in the very beginning of my calligraphy journey, and these are amazing. They're really easy to use. You get a lot of control with these, and control is one of the greatest things you can have when you're beginning calligraphy. And so there's two different kinds. There is a hard tip pen and a soft tip pen, so let me show you the difference. This is a hard tip pen. So as you can see, as I'm pushing down, you don't really see the brush move down very much, but you can still get the heavy downstrokes. This is a soft tip. The tip is a little bit longer and you can see the tip moves down. The tip is definitely softer on this pen and you can get some thicker downstrokes. But honestly, with these two, you can use either one. Um, I like using both of these in the very, very beginning when I'm first learning my strokes and these are amazing. I absolutely love these pens. Next up is the Pentel Brush Sign Pen and these pens might be my absolute favorite pens to work with. They have a soft tip and they're so easy to control and so easy to use. I love these pens so much. They don't have a super heavy downstroke, but honestly, I feel like I get the best control with this brush. And you're going to find as you use different types of brush pens, you're going to find some favorites and you're going to find some not so favorites. This one, I'm so glad I got this one. This one is amazing. I highly recommend this one. Next up is the Kuratake brush pen. This one, as you can see, it looks like an actual paintbrush at the end. These have really, really smooth brush. It really does feel like you're, you're, painting with a paintbrush with this pen. You see how the tip, you can just kind of manipulate. It's like you're actually painting. This one actually feels like you are writing with like Japanese style calligraphy when you get these brushes that you can actually write with. These get amazing pigmentation. I will say they're a little bit 
um, harder to write with when you have a lot more stability and control with your writing. These are really, really great. But I'd say in the beginning, um, I definitely would stick to the Tombos. And the last pen I'm going to talk about is the Ecoline brush pen. These have these are really thick pens and they have, of course, the brush tip and these get really, really nice pigmentation. This is one of the first ones I worked with. It kind of has like a watercolor feel to them. You see the difference? So the harder I push down, the more pigment comes out and you can see the reflection here. There's a lot of ink that's left on the paper. The downstroke has a heavier color than the upstroke and it does look like how watercolor does, like the more you layer on You see how you can see like the differences in the lines with this pen. I love this pen. This one is really fun to work with. This is great um, if you're going to blend two colors together. Like if you have a water pen, which I'll show you in, in another video, but you use two different colors and you write with them and you take a water pen and you kind of fade or blend in between each letter. These are super fun. I'll do another video with these pens to show you how to blend colors together. But if you're looking for some really highly pigmented um, pens, I love this pen. I really, really do. This is really a fun one to work with. There are so many different types of brush pens out there. If you're a beginner, I definitely recommend the Tambo Fuda Nosuke or the Pencil Sign Brush Pen. Those have been the best for me when I first started calligraphy. You get so much control. But like I said, there's so many different types of brush pens out there. So you can try different ones, experiment with them for yourself, grab a notebook, and just start writing. Have fun with it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.